Hey, it's Wednesday. Time for another Action Figure Adventures video here on SEO Toy Review. Today, Baby Skeletor and I are taking a look at two G.I. Joe Collector's Club action figures. We have Strategic Commander General Flag and Advanced Recon Sneak Peek. Both figures are updated versions of classic action figures. These use new sculpt parts, but are designed to call back to and, and, and make us relive our childhood with those classic figures. What do you think, Baby Skeletor? Is it time to get them out of the package? All right, here's our two soldiers out of the package. We're going to start with General Flag. Any G.I. Joe fan knows the G.I. Joe aircraft carrier is called the Flag, and it was named after General Flag, who started the team in the comic book series. This is actually General Flag's son, because the original General Flag was actually murdered by Major Blood in the comics. So towards the end of the line, in the, in the early 90s, they came out with the General Flag figure. I believe he was offered twice. He was repainted once. And the figure looked pretty much just like this. Leather coat cool brown hat, uh, he came with a machine gun, and he also had a goofy rubber band powered missile launcher because G.I. Joe was getting kind of gimmicky towards the end. This figure captures the spirit of that character pretty nicely. He's got his machine gun, he's got his brown hat, his leather jacket. Instead of giving him the ridiculous missile launcher, he came with a briefcase kind of molded in the same green as the missile launcher was. General Flag also comes with a figure stand with his name on it. I did not have General Flag as a kid, but somebody I knew had him and I got to play with him some. I was sort of waning from G.I. Joe at this point. I still love the characters, I still love the toys, I played with them a lot, but I wasn't collecting new figures as heavily as I was. I was kind of into some other stuff like Ninja Turtles and things uh, at that point. I didn't get the deep cartoon show, uh, we didn't we didn't have cable, and I just didn't get a lot of channels. We didn't we lived in the woods. And uh, so I, I rarely saw the Deke show, and I just wasn't as interested in the new characters. But I always thought the removable hat was really cool, and I've kind of been a fan of that in a lot of toy lines. Hasbro's Cops and Crooks figures, a couple of them had removable hats, and then uh, some of the later G.I. Joes had those things, and I, for some reason I just thought that was the coolest thing, like Red Star and General Flag here. So this is a nice figure, I like how the collar puffs out there on his jacket, he's got his uh, two stars on his sleeves there, he comes with a pistol that goes in his holster. Just a really nice figure of a character that I never thought was that super interesting. The G.I. Joe hierarchy is very muddied. You know, you have General General Hawk, who is the leader, but then they throw in these other people, uh, Admiral Keelhaul and Major Courage, right? That's the G.I. Joe, right? And that, I think so. Captain Cool? Captain Courage? Something like that? I, I forget. Uh, and, and General Flag. And that, it muddies the water of who's in charge. And, uh... So I, I never really knew what to make of, of this character too much, but he is pretty cool. I also did want to show you inside the briefcase here. This briefcase has come with several other G.I. Joe figures, uh, but this one has a little, um, like a top secret document inside here. It's hard to light it. Um, but the rest of it's empty, and that, that is removable. It, does, it can come out of there. You do have to be careful with that plastic hinge there. You're going to stress it out, opening and closing that a lot. Next up, we've got Sneak Peek. Now, this is a character that I did have as a kid and was actually kind of important to me. Um, I played with the figure a lot. He was in the comic books. He actually died in the comic book. And uh, I remember reading that in, like, third grade and just... I had a hard time comprehending that because G.I. Joes just don't really die. There have been a few, uh, as I mentioned, Gen General Flag Sr., but it, it was kind of interesting. It was very uh, unceremonious and, and very sad with his friend Dusty having to go tell his mom. Uh, that was kind of weird. Sneak Peek seems like he was a little bit more of a stretch for the Collector's Club to do, but they did a nice job of having his key elements here. I've never understood why a recon guy, a, a forward observer, wears red and neon green. But it's G.I. Joe, you know. They do those crazy things. Uh, Sneak Peek and Crazy Legs were two characters that I really liked a lot, and for some reason I always felt like they were buddies or brothers or something. They both had those goofy, non-removable helmets and, you know, bright red on their torsos and stuff. Um, I loved both of those figures as a kid. So Sneak Peek here is decked out as closely to the original figure as they could do it. Uh, he comes with binoculars here. He has a helmet with a little microphone on it. The real figure, the helmet was non-removable, and the walkie-talkie microphone piece was, which is always lost. 
this helmet is totally removable. And he comes with an M16. The original figure had a strap on that, the um, like a carry strap, which was kind of cool. He comes with his periscope here. I, you know, we're not doing a lot of trench warfare, so don't know exactly what he needs this for. But uh, he did, you know, die in a gunfight in an alley with some alley vipers. And uh, I guess he could use this to peek over some cars to see see if they're coming. The other, the original figure also came with a little walkie-talkie. This is like a remote detonator, I think. But they kind of subbed this in to, to take the place of that. He has nowhere to clip this on. It's got a big uh, bulge there. It would be nice if it could clip to the periscope or clip to his waist or something. Um, otherwise, it's kind of a goofy accessory for him. Duke, Cobra's got three men on the roof. I need a situation report, sneak peek. Well, sir, there are several people watching this YouTube video, and one person's hand seems to be hovering over the subscribe button. Excellent work, soldier. Both figures are pretty cool. If I didn't have the Collector's Club figure subscription service, I probably would have only tried to track down Sneak Peek, but I'm glad to have both figures. Thanks for watching this Action Figure Adventures video. Do Baby Skeletor a favor, hit that like and subscribe button.